This question is from permutation combination, combinatorix, counting methods. Good question has a little constraint thrown at us, which means that we need to exercise caution as we're going about this question. How many even three digit positive integers with distinct digits are there? We're looking at three digit positive integers, we're looking at even numbers, and we need these numbers to have distinct digits. Something like a 456 will satisfy this condition. It's a three digit number, it's an even number, and all digits are distinct. So how many such numbers exist is what this question is. Uh, these are the two fact constraints to keep in mind. The digits should be distinct and the number should be even. We'll break this count into two steps. Step one, I'm going to count all of those three digit numbers, which are even numbers with distinct digits that have in the hundreds place an odd number. Just give you an example. Numbers like 146 is an example of this, right? The odd hundreds place is an odd number. It's an even number. 146 is an even number. All three digits are distinct digits. So let's establish three places for this first count. Step one, how many such numbers exist? Let's see. The hundreds place is an odd number. So what all values can it take? It can take a one, three, five, seven, and nine. So there are five possibilities for the hundreds place. We'll come to the tens place in a while. Keep it in other ends. Let's go to the units place. The given number is an even number. So the unit digit has to be even for the number to be an even number. What all possible values exist? 2, 4, 6, 8, and it can also be a 0. 0 is an even number. So how many possible values exist for the units place? We have 5 possible values for it. These two are mutually exclusive sets, disjoint sets, not mutually exclusive, disjoint sets. There's nothing common between 13579 and 24680. So we don't need to bother about if I pick one, would I have not, would I have to consider the fact that it should not appear in the units place, right? Now, how many possible cases exist for the tens place? You can take any value from 0 to 9. Actually, it's got 10. But the distinct digits com that constraint comes into picture. Therefore, it cannot take a value that appeared in the hundreds place nor can it take the value that appears in the units place. So two values are removed from it. So how many possible values exist for the tens place? We have eight possible values. So five times eight times five, that's a number of numbers, which are three digit numbers, which are even numbers that start with an odd number or the hundreds place is an odd number. So step one, done. So we'll compute this value in a while, not to worry. 40 into five, which is equal to 200 such numbers exist. The step two count, we're going to count those three digit numbers, but the digits are distinct. Those are even numbers and the hundreds place is even too. So again, let's run through these three distinct locations. We are talking about the hundreds place. We'll start by fixing a value for the hundreds place. It cannot be a zero. So it can take only values which are two, four, six, eight. So it's an even number. It cannot start with a zero because if it starts with a zero, it cannot be a three digit number. So four possible values exist for the hundreds place. Let's quickly round up the units place before coming to the tens. The units place could actually take 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. It's got 5 values. But because the digits are distinct, it cannot be 5. It cannot include that number, the even number that appeared in the hundreds place. So it's got only 4 options available to it. Let's come to the tens place. The same thing. Of the 10, 2 that avail that were appeared in the hundreds and the units place cannot appear in the tens place. So we've got 8 possible combinations, 8 possible values that we can use for the tens place. So how many such numbers in, are get included in step two? Four times eight times four. Four eights are 32. 32 times four is equal to 128. So numbers that start with odd number, hundreds place having an odd number, hundreds place having an even number, it's 200 and 128 respectively. So total of 328 such numbers exist. Quickly round up this entire discussion in a printed form. We're going to count step one where the hundreds place is odd. So just running you through this, numbers such as this, the hundreds place is odd in all of these. So how many values can the hundreds place take? It's got five possible cases. Units place is even, therefore we have five such possible cases. It could be zero, two, four, six, or eight. There's nothing that's common between these two. So if one digit appears here, it's not going to eliminate the possibility of finding a digit for the units place. That leaves us with finding out the values possible for the tens place. Usually 10 values are possible, but the two that appeared one in the hundreds and one in the units place cannot appear in the tens place. So you have eight possible values for it. So five times eight times five, that's equal to 200 such numbers. So more to the second step, counting those three digit numbers where the hundreds place is even. So hundreds place has four options as we had seen. It cannot be a zero, so four such cases. Units place had five, but the one that appeared in the hundreds place cannot appear here. So we have four possibilities for the units place too. Tens place discussion is exactly the same. 10 possible values. The one that appeared in the hundreds in the units place, those two cannot appear in the tens place. So you're left with eight possible cases. Four times eight times four, that's equal to 128. 
total number of numbers is a count of step 1 and count of step 2 it's equal to 328 choice c is the correct answer to this question right? these questions actually take a while see some of these questions are two and a half three minute questions you need to factor that in the average time for every quant question is two minutes which means that it doesn't mean that every question is going to take the same two minutes there are some questions in the gmat which you'll be able to crack in about 30 40 seconds the time that you save there right that's a providence that you've got to be used in questions such as this which are going to take you about three minutes before you leave two things sign up as a trial user at wzkwo.in slash core it's one of the most comprehensive online gmat course get started with a free topic statistics and averages build momentum to your gmat preparation subsequently pay up and unlock the remaining topics lastly subscribe to the channel youtube.com slash bizaco and spread the word among your friends who are preparing for gmat you may also choose to to join this channel as a member for a small monthly fee and enjoy member-only perks that come with it and will help you boost your GMAT preparation.